Guys, some companies just seem to get it right every time without fail. CMB Made Knives is one of those companies. You're seeing in front of you the CMB Made Knives Predator. It is awesome. It's going to be a giveaway. So let's turn this around, take a quick look at it from above first day in pockets. Like I said in the intro, guys, this is another great CMB made knives knife. This is the Predator, as I said. Uh, this was sent in as a giveaway by Winston Cobretti, one of the paying members, but we're going to do the full review process on it because I really like this knife. So this isn't going to be a real long video. This is another one of those really well done CMB made knives. I've had four or five of them on the channel. I can't remember at this point, but all of them have been really well done. And the edge geometry and ergos on them have been great. This one's in 14C28N with a black coating and then ground off to give you that dual color. Beautiful satin and a nice swedge. Red micarta with steel liners that have been lightened and this is done in their version of the access lock and i like so many things about this knife this thing is contoured nicely so far with the cutting i've done it fills the hand really well you've got a reversible pocket clip and the blade is a little squat and kind of like drop down so you have a lot of belly on it but it's not a real pronounced belly so you have all the belly from about here up but that doesn't mean you can't do the tasks that you typically do with a straighter knife like a warren cliff i like knives like this that have a little bit of belly that don't transition so drastically that you lose the ability to do things with it because you can get up on this and do small work um all the grind work on this looks to be perfect so far um i've done a bit of cardboard cutting on this. You can see there's some track lines on it. I'm trying to keep this nice because it will be a giveaway. But so far, in and out of pocket, it's been great. The action on it is really good. You've got a, you have got the access style lock, sliding bar lock on this that you can use like this. You can thumb flip it. You can slow roll it. It's just a really good configuration on this. It's the first one of the CMBs I've seen with their version of the uh, sliding bar lock on it. And uh, I'm pretty impressed so far. Seems to be pretty good. All of the machining and everything that was done on it is nice and clean. I like the fact that they use the same material for the backspacer that they did for the scales. I've had a few knives that came in that did that. Um, some of the petrified fish, this CMB. I wish almost now that they had done like petrified fish and done the thumb studs in the same material that would have been cool like red thumb studs um i'm a big sucker for red and black so this is a really good looking knife it has cut really well it does not have any real problem i don't feel any blade play at all i don't feel any issues with the lock at all and uh it does feel pretty good so there are a couple negative things that i'd like to point out you know with all good there comes the bad there's just a couple little negative things that i've seen so let's turn this around and do the negative so first and foremost, um, I almost wish this was a finger twill. I, I don't, I can get up on it, but this has got that really angular spot right there. And then I'm just, it. I'm right up against the sharpened edge with my big fingers. I wish this was a little more rounded out so that it felt more like a finger twill. You wouldn't have had to have made it any real bigger, just round that up instead of leaving that as a sharp angle, um, kind of, you know, in and it would have been a full curve. Uh, that is one of the few things that I've got wrong with. The access lock is not an issue for me, but I wanted to point out it is very stiff. The tension on those springs is very stiff and, uh, it gives you a good detent, but sometimes it doesn't close all the way when you do it like that. Sometimes it, it doesn't, you know, it's a little harder to get out and it is very, very stiff. It's a very stiff spring. And then last thing. I don't like the pocket clip. The pocket clip is a little short and tall, in my opinion, and it sticks up a little bit higher. This could have been done so much better with a different pocket clip. I did take the pocket clip off just to see how it feels in hand. And without the pocket clip, it's almost perfect. A lower profile pocket clip on this probably would have been better or something that doesn't ramp as dramatically because I'm getting some of that right there in my hand and that high spot. It's just a little bit more feel in it than I want. I can kind of feel that it gets hot spotty. So not a lot to say bad about it. We'll see how it pans out over the next, oh, couple weeks of carry and see. But all in all, like 
all the CMB made knives. It is a good, good cutter. So let's turn this around, do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. Guys, I have absolutely not had anything bad from CMB Made Knives. They absolutely knock it out of the park every time. And this is no exception. Even though there's some negative things, there's always negative things about knives. There's, if you're being honest, you're always going to find something that maybe just doesn't fit what you want in a knife. But the fact is, as an all-around knife, this thing's awesome. They always are. And they get their edge geometry right every time. The Lurker, even though it was a little bit thicker, it still was super good behind the edge and cut. So if you're looking for knives that you can check out that are always going to be good, CMB Made Knives has got it hands down as far as I'm concerned. So guys, that's it on this one. Um, you're going to see a video with a bunch of knife companies in it. CMB Made Knives is going to be one of them. Uh, that's going to come up soon. I'm thinking I'm going to film that maybe tonight. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you want to support the channel, thumbs up, thumbs down on videos, drop a comment, share it with people. Interacting with the video is the best thing you can do. If you want to support the channel financially, a bunch of ways down in the description below. You guys know I have a coffee brand coffee sponsorship. Coffee, uh, the link down below has a 5% discount built in. Supports the channel. Tempered Trail, you can use the coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp. Saves you 5% at checkout. That coupon code also works at Coffee Brand Coffee. I've got an Amazon store where there's a link down below in the description. You can take that, pin it to your browser, do all your Amazon shopping through there. It supports the channel. doesn't cost you anything extra. And I've got a membership that is tier-based. Everyone has access to the Gilded server where we hang out. They have access to exclusive videos, behind the scenes stuff. I haven't done one in a while, but I'm gonna work on one this weekend. Baseline and premium guys, the next two tiers up, they get entered into giveaways like this because that's what this is. This is going to be a giveaway. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series that's here on YouTube behind the paywall. Those giveaways I do are separate from YouTube. I do those specifically for the paying members. Guys, that's it on this one. I hope you liked the video. If you did, like it. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.